What is the difference between bald eagles and golden eagles? Eagles, the lords and ladies of the skies that rule from on high, with millions of years of evolution backing up their status as airborne apex predators. The sheer number and distribution of eagle species globally are clear testaments to their success. Today, we're paying special attention to the bald and golden eagles, two of the most iconic species. What makes a bird a bald eagle? What makes it a golden eagle? Is it just a matter of hairstyle or coloration? Or is there more at play? Let's head to the skies and find out. Bald Eagles Like all eagles, the iconic bald eagle hails from the Accipitridae family of birds of prey, or raptors. This family is also home to hawks, kites, Old World vultures, and harriers. Bald eagles are known as Haliaetus leucocephalus to scientists. And there are two subspecies. The northern bald eagle, Haliaetus leucocephalus washingtonensis, and the southern bald eagle, Haliaetus leucocephalus leucocephalus. The genus name, Haliaetus, comes from the Greek word Haliaetos, which translates to sea eagle. The species name, leucocephalus, is an amalgamation of the Greek words leukos, which means white, and kephali, which means head. In English, the word bald refers to the word's original meaning, having a white head, rather than its modern meaning of being hairless. Bald eagles are large birds typified by contrasting plumage. Most of the body is covered in dark brown feathers, while the neck and head have white feathers. The beak and feet are yellow, while the talons are black. Tail feathers are fairly long and wedge-shaped. Size varies quite a bit. Body length ranges from 28 to 40 inches, while wingspan is between 5 feet 11 inches and 7 feet 7 inches. Healthy adults weigh between 6.6 and 14 pounds. The species also has marked sexual dimorphism when it comes to size. Females can be up to 25% bigger than males. Chicks and juveniles have different plumage from their parents until they reach sexual maturity which occurs at about five years. These youngsters have dark brown feathers all over, including the head, and they also sport pale whitish streaks and spots. Like all raptors, the bald eagle is equipped with deadly talons on each toe. Each foot has three front toes and one rear toe. When attacking, bald eagles put their weight on the front toes to hold prey in place, and then they use the rear talons to stab the victim, which causes damage or death and allows the birds to carry their quarry off. The bird also sports a sharp, powerful beak, which is also used to kill off prey and, of course, rip off meaty chunks of flesh. As sea eagles, these birds are specialists when it comes to hunting fish and other aquatic animals. Using their remarkable vision, they can spot prey below the water's surface before swooping in and snatching it. Seeing a bald eagle spotting and hoisting a fish out of the water is one of nature's ultimate sights and it serves as clear evidence of why the birds are so successful. Besides fish, bald eagles will also go after water birds like ducks, as well as reptiles like juvenile alligators and turtles. Frogs and small mammals are also pursued. However, fish is the staple and makes up more than half of the species' diet. Birds make up about a third of what bald eagles eat, while mammals and other prey animals are less than 20% of the preferred menu. The majesty, gracefulness, and power of the bald eagle are some of the reasons it is such a massive cultural animal in North America. It is a powerful symbol of nobility, strength, and faithfulness in Native American cultures, and it is the United States' legendary national animal. You can find the bird on currency, sports team badges, company logos, military medals, tattooed arms, and much more. The eagles have a wide distribution throughout North America, with a range extending from northern Mexico to the far reaches of Alaska and Canada. Naturally, they live in habitats with access to sizable water bodies that can support them and their broods. Bald eagles are found along the coast, near rivers or lakes, marshes, and even swamps. According to research, bald eagles looking to breed favor lakes with surface areas of four square miles or more. Bald eagles can either be resident or migratory throughout this range. Food availability is the main factor that determines migration or residency. As a result, the northern subspecies is much more migratory than the southern because water bodies in its domain are far more likely to freeze and prevent it from hunting. Bald eagles from the warmer south hardly ever migrate and tend to settle in one area as residents. These raptors love perching and nesting in mature stands of hardwood trees. They are not overly picky about what specific kind of hardwood, though, 
and are instead more focused on whether the tree is solid enough, tall enough, and close enough to hunting grounds for their nesting needs. Mating usually occurs in late January to early February, which is also the time the birds build and reinforce their nests. Fun fact, the bald eagle builds the largest nest of any American bird, and the build quality of those nests is so good that they can be used for several years, with the help of minor renovations. Nests can be 13 feet deep, 8 feet across, and weigh a literal ton. Mate selection is not a frequent thing for bald eagles because they generally stick together and mate for life. They do try to find new mates if one partner dies or abandons the other, or if mating fails to bear fruit after several attempts. Like with most birds, it is the female that gets the final say on who she mates with. Males must engage in flight displays to impress the ladies, and these displays are quite something. The boisterous males soar, dive, and chase each other before locking talons and spiraling toward the earth, only to let go just before crashing. Once a male and female pair up, they establish a small territory along a chosen body of water before building nests and mating. Males and females take turns incubating and guarding nests, and they work together to raise chicks. In most cases, the female lays one to three eggs per breeding period. However, bald eagles very rarely manage to raise three chicks to fledgling, with two being the typical number. Sometimes, the eldest and largest chick may kill its siblings, which maximizes its own chances of being fed and cared for until fledgling. Golden Eagle The Golden Eagle, aka Aquila chrysotos, is another famous large eagle species. It is classified under the Aquila genus, a group known as true eagles. Generally, Aquila is more of a superficial grouping that includes 11 species of dark-colored eagles. When it comes to golden eagles, there are six recognized subspecies. We have the Iberian, European, Asian, Japanese, Siberian, and North American golden eagle. The subspecies vary when it comes to size and coloration, though they are quite comfortably large birds. Golden eagles can be between 26 and 40 inches long, with wingspans that are between 5 feet 11 and 7 feet 8 inches. Males weigh around 8 pounds on average, while females are around 11 pounds. The Asian or Himalayan subspecies is the largest of the lot, with males weighing up to 9 pounds and females weighing up to 14 pounds. The smallest subspecies, the Japanese golden eagle, has a weight range of 5.5 to 7.2 pounds. Like bald eagles, the golden species is largely dark brown. However, adults also have dark golden heads and a bit of whitish gray on the tail feathers and inner wings. The golden color of the head and boot feathers is where the bird gets its name. These eagles also have yellowish feet and toes, as well as a yellow beak that has a dark tip. The talons are usually black. Additionally, the golden eagle's feet have more pronounced boot feathers than those of the bald eagle. Chicks and juveniles are basically the same as their parents, though the feathers on their backs are a bit darker. In flight, as seen from below, the golden eagle has an ever-so-slightly V-shaped profile compared to the bald eagle's more straight wings. As you can probably already tell from the various geography-based subspecies, the golden eagle has a wide distribution. In fact, it is the world's most widely distributed eagle species and can be found in much of the northern hemisphere. In the Eurasian landmass, their range spans from the Mediterranean to the Russian Far East, China, and Japan. They are very rare in Western Europe, though they have healthy populations in the UK. In North America, golden eagles nest in the western half of the US and much of Mexico for most of the year. They only nest in Canada during the summer months. There are also small, scattered golden eagle populations in North Africa and the Middle East. Such a wide global distribution is possible because of the bird's relatively high habitat adaptability. They generally prefer to live near or in open areas, sparse forests, and mountain ranges deep in the wild. Golden eagles tend to avoid humans and areas with human activity, which is probably another reason they continue to thrive. However, they are not above scouting highways and garbage sites for roadkill and other easy pickings. Nesting often occurs in the cliffs of mountain ranges, wherever possible, and a mating pair may use several different cliffs and nests over the years. The birds are largely resident, but extreme winters can force northern birds to migrate south for better hunting grounds. Golden eagles are pretty territorial and are quick to squabble up if a rival individual or couple intrudes. 
Another key area where golden eagle adaptability shines through is diet. As a species, golden eagles actually have a menu that is an inversion of the bald eagles. Small mammals like hares and prairie dogs are the staple, followed by birds, reptiles, and lastly, fish. That said, golden eagles that happen to be near large bodies of water tend to have fish far more frequently than normal, a clear sign that this species is very much about opportunism. In mountain ranges, golden eagles have even been documented harrying and harassing ungulates, like mountain goats and sheep, into losing balance and falling to their deaths. Like most eagles, this species operates during the day when it can maximize its incredible eyesight to find food. Breeding and chick rearing are a two-parent endeavor as well. After males display their speed, guts, and reflexes in the air, females pick their bows, and the pair tends to stick together for life. Brood size is seldom more than three chicks, and it is usually two that complete the three-month-long journey to fledgling. <laughs>